Yo guys, what is going on? This is Yoki Man here, and I apologise if I am coughing during this. I'm still a little bit ill, but I know I need to get back into this, so here is the update. Our first update with Verona. Um, transfers, start of the transfers. Um, I'm pretty sure this side is exactly the same. I've sold no one. Absolutely no one. January's been gone, but I sold no one. Um, Andrew Robertson came in on loan from Hull. Um, really solid for us. In, in this league, he's very good as a left back. He's not had the greatest start, but he's someone who I'm, I I really need to perform. And Pedro Leo, um, 20-year-old Brazilian, he just had pretty decent potential, so I thought let's bring him in. He's not on a ridiculous wage like you can see so I thought why not give him a try um, schedule it's, it's been tough guys um, it's been real tough Palmolero is the um, game I told you about and we lost that one 3-0 um, we've just it, it's it been a real tough start I'm starting to find a tactic that the, the team started uh, starting to play a little bit better with. But it's been a real tough start, and the team is really old, and <laughs> this is pretty damn rubbish. Atlanta 2-1. Again, you'll see a theme of players being sent off and yellow cards, and, and the tactic wasn't even set to be aggressively um, in that manner whatsoever, but still... We were having that issue. Uh, Lazio again, I know the 87th minute, but another player sent off. Um, Zuzalo game was um, frustrating. The goals all came in such a, a strange period. But look, 93rd minute, and we have a player sent off, and I'm just constantly thinking to myself, what the hell is going on? Why are we getting so many players sent off? And then Sampdoria, you know, it was another game that I didn't expect to win. And we came in and we finally pick up our first win. But again, another player sent off. And I found it so troublesome to keep the same back line. Because the players are being sent off constantly. And it's making it real tough to have a solid set back line. And then, you know, AC Milan, Minas Scott 2, Saviola... Um, Missed a penalty, but for the first time we didn't have a player sent off in my my whole tenure at Verona, and we we played. To be fair, well, we played pretty damn well. We I don't feel like we deserved to um, lose it two 0 You know, I think Saviola probably should have scored the penalty. It was early on as well, which was a bit frustrating, but team performed okay for, for the first time and especially against AC Milan who are a, 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 a way 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 above us but um, I think I'm just going to go straight through to the end of the season now but not too many games left to play, tough ones like Napoli, Roma um, Fiorentina Inter, Juventus but I believe there's enough games in there that we could pick up hopefully the correct you know results um Possibly, um, we are 17 with 20 points. We're only two points off the drop, but the aim is just to survive, escape relegation this year, and I'm happy as long as we do that. So I think a couple of wins here and there, and we should hopefully survive. Uh, let's just go to this view. Yeah, no, let's go home. So some players coming in. Um, we did have some transfer budget and some wage budget available, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend some money. Uh, and these are all, you know, young regens who I've scouted, and although they're not guaranteed to be fantastic, I'm not paying way over the odds for any of them. They're all, I believe, um, this one's a good one. I like this signing. On a free, I believe. Yeah. On a free contract, he came up. And I think he's going to be really good for us in midfield next season. Someone who we need, and he's not too old. Um, Gonzalez here, and and you, you can see, you know, the current potential isn't shocking for the team as well. So I'm hoping that we can progress these youngsters really, uh, and Andre Almeida as well. Another good signing for next year, I believe. So I feel like if we survive, that I've already got some. The youngsters are great, but I've already got some good. 
in Kimball Kyung and Andre Almeida. It's a good players coming in, but hopefully, you know, we, we, we stay up. But wish me luck. I'm kind of enjoying doing the Italian league. I'm not doing the English league for once. It's, um, I'm finding it quite enjoyable. And the tactic I am playing at the minute is this. Um, it's, it's working okay against different teams. I have to play counter. I, I'm sticking with the kind of the mentality free at the back in most games um, I had quite a bit of luck with this one we're not completely fluid where where any of them yet um, which makes it tough and as you can see a lot of our starting lineup has been lone players um, but we're, we're pushing on through I'm hoping that um, we, we really start to pick up let's have a quick look uh, is this selection info? Average run. So, as you see, the lone players have our best average ratings, which I don't enjoy whatsoever because that's you know that that looks really bad on what we actually have in the team. That our lone players are by far our, our, our better players. Now, whether we can look at signing some of these, Nicholas Lopez would definitely be one that. I would love to sign, but I don't think he's going to be near that value. I think he's going to be much more expensive. But if maybe we can look to, to sign a couple of these because they have been pretty good. Um, definitely Lopez, though, um, would be a, a, a definite signing for me and Sorison as well. Um, if we can get them, then I would be happy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you um, hope you enjoying the series. Um, yeah, stay tuned. We should be coming out a lot much more often now. Christmas has just been so busy, but yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye.